Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum. This is Arif. In this video, we are going to see the structure or the sarf of the Arabic words, and under this, we are going to see the different forms or scales or the bazan of different Arabic words plus their root words or jazar. So let's go to our next slide. So in this slide on the right hand side column, I have defined the scales or the version of different forms. And according to those on the left hand three columns, I have defined some Arabic words, their roots and their scales or the version. So this is our first word which is jad and jad is once you are going to renew something rejuvenate something so this is actually a noun so the thing which is going to rejuvenate or renew and this is used as your grandfather as well and this is probably due to the fact that they also renew their generation or their generations to come through their kids so that's why it is used and then so this is actually a fail and then we have um and um is actually your mother and jinn and jinn is actually the thing which is going to drive you crazy so this is that effect and now we can see their next form so this jad actually would have the same word next to it as well so in reality so that would make it actually jadad and from jadad we are going to extract different forms so this jadad is like for example the three letter word which is a verb and jadad is actually renewal or rejuvenating something and then we have or recondition you can say as well and then we have ummam and ummam is again something which is related to your nation and uh, actually this is probably this has a religious background especially in the Jews since their nation start from their um so that is where this ummam is coming and this is actually to nationalize something so since they make their nation according to the mother side so that's why they are nationalizing according to their mother and then we have jannan jannan is also like this jane would have a known right next to it as well so that is going to make it jannan jannan is also a fail and jannan is again like once you are drive, uh, getting crazy or you are just like so much angry that you are getting crazy and then we have phyla form and phyla is going to make this um into aima and aima is actually plural and plural of the leaders of the nation as we are going to see in the next slide that there is a word which we extract from this and that words plural form is this aima aima is actually the leaders of a nation and then we have so this can be a mother as well uh, a lady as well because in the jewish religion i mean the from the mother your background of your religion starts and then we have mafud and maful form is going to make this jinn into majnoon and majnoon is again something somebody which is like crazy or going nuts or going really angry or who is like a craving for something very in a very extreme manner and then we have foul form and foul we are going to remove this ma 
and then foul form is going to make this majnoon into junoon and junoon is again something which is driving uh, like you are getting crazy or you are so much involved into something that that thing is going to make you crazy or angry and then we have from foul foula form and foula is going to make um onto amuma and amuma is again from the mother and it is related to actually maternity like motherhood once mother is going to produce something so this is related to that this is from um these all words are from um. and then we have fail and fail is actually an object noun and then we have this jad would become from this jadad we would get jadid and jadid is again as you are going to recondition something renew something or something which is like new so in that sense it comes and this is also related to something as you are going to make something new you are rejuvenating so in that sense these things come and then we have from file we have the field form and the field form is going to make this jadid into tajdid tajdid is again rejuvenating something reconditioning something making something new and then we have tamim and tamim is again related to nationalizing something right just like this once we are going to nationalize or uh, you can say since tamim is actually a noun so you can say to nationalize nationalize this is nationalizing this is nationalize so you are making that person to come into your nation and then we have the next slide on next slide we can see from um we get a mom and a mom is again actually from your mom your nation is coming and a mom is one of the leaders of that nation or which is coming or, or which is ahead something which is ahead you say or something which is before something so in that sense we are going to use it but this is also coming from this and sometimes this amam is considered as the singular of this aima and then we have from fall we have a fall form and a fall is actually is going to make this jad into aidad and aidad is actually your grand parents so in that sense it is going to get used or you can see some things which are getting revival so in that sense it can be used as well and then we have this muffle and muffle in this case is adjective so this is going to make jad into mujaddad or jaddad into mujaddad and mujaddad is again rejuvenating of some place or recondition of some place or renewing of some place renewal you can say and then we have faila form from fail we put at the and then we have from jad jadda and jadda is again something which is like you are going to modernize or make on a modern setup so that's where it is used you are renewing some some place or you are making some place modernize so in that sense and same way am is going to become umma and umma is again a nation but remember umma has um inside it so the nation would be formed on the base of the mother rather than father and then we have from jan janna and janna is some thing which is going to make you crazy for which you are going to crave like you are very you you are going to get very excited about that thing 
like you love that thing so much that you want to crazily have that thing in your life and that thing is called actually janna and then we have afal and afal is going to make this jatad into a jatad and a jatad is again rejuvenating renewal reconditioning modernizing and then we have from fail tafal and tafal is going to make jannan into the jannan and the jannan is again something which is going to drive you crazy make you feel like like once you are getting very excited you are getting very crazy about something or you are getting really angry and then we have tafal noun as well this is verb and this is noun so noun is going to make this jaddad into the jaddad and the jaddad is again some thing which is going to modernize something which is like modern or something which is renewed and then we have mutfail and mutfail is going to make this the jaddad into majaddad remember these are all wazans or the scales or the forms of different arabic words and this matjaddad is again something which is like modernized or renewed or making new so now let's have a summary just remember these are the root words two lettered words sometimes arabic words can be two lettered word root words or sometimes they can be three lettered so in this case all these three words are two lettered words but remember this last letter would all always have another letter just like this to make these into fail form and from fail we can create all these scales or the wazans but remember this thing this thing is related to this thing this thing is related to this thing and same way this thing is related to this thing and same way this thing this thing these are all on the same scale so thank you guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this video have fun